across the line because I could see better than he could. That's a long time since I've been on this road on a bike going down to Kelso or on a car even. Time with the idea of trying to look to see if we can purchase the new GoPro Hero 10 at some point this year because I've noticed, as you probably have, you know, the Digi is great on joint stabilisation and it's very stable and reliable. It does have a slightly different field of view, which is narrower, and it's actually quite noticeable um, compared to the other GoPros that I have and that I used to use. For instance, um, obviously I can't see it right now, but I would suspect that you can't see that there when I'm looking up here. I know you might not want to or be able to, but I just think you probably can't see, I don't know, I don't know, the edges of the handlebars, or my hands on the handlebars, or anything like that, where I think that that's quite important, personally, because it gives perspective when you're right, and you can see the tilt. If there is a tilt, and you can see any input you're doing to controls with your hands and things like that. And uh, I feel that with the... Uh, it's only a small difference in the field of view. I mean, it's like five degrees or something like that. It's not massive. But uh, it is noticeable. And... Uh, that's just why I've moved the camera recently. It's offset to the left before. You're going to be sort of over in this position very slightly. Um, that's why I've moved it around to the front. And I have got the camera a slightly different mount so that it's slightly closer to the helmet to make up for that. Um, but I'm still not convinced that it's given me this, given me quite what I'd like. You know. 90% of it, but aim for 100. Eh? I haven't bothered connecting my headset or a phone or anything like that. Quite nice not to have any distractions and just concentrate and let your mind go blank to the world of things outside. Just concentrate on what you do. of tunnel here.
<laughs> Finish roller coaster. Faster, Daddy, faster. <laughs> This is lovely. It's so good to be out. So nice, so nice. This is such a lovely bike to ride. You see, 800 miles in, still in my head, very much still getting used to how it handles. Still gaining confidence in it, shall we say, and having to adjust what I do. Particularly with regards to the throttle, how much more gently I've got to be with it, especially at low speeds. And there was a American guy on YouTube, which before I bought this, he uh, he had a wing with DCT, and his advice was to um, put it in rain mode doing slow manoeuvring and I kind of understand that now that I've experienced rain mode myself because uh, the throttle of response is much gentler you can imagine so you're less uh, liable to have an inadvertent rush of power if you should be uh, less than gentle with the throttle uh, while that's a very good idea and I may well do it when it comes to the, the bit you know much rather um, train myself to be much more forgiving with the throttle or much more gently uh, gentle with the throttle than I than you are on a conventional bike not that I'm rough, don't get me wrong but you tend to, you know, when you pull away the clutch bike you kind of over rev slightly as, you, uh, as, the, uh, as the clutch then is fed in so I think initially first one or two um, episodes of moving away they were extremely jerky because I was, I was you know, almost muscle memory um, was uh, kind of having that happen so at the moment I'm, uh, I'm trying to be very conscious of uh, be very gentle with the throttle when moving off Uh, obviously, especially important to put uh, Susan on the back. This thing went through the house. I don't have a bad experience, so I don't feel comfortable or confident in me. She's probably cacking herself half the time she's in the back anyway. I don't know why, but probably it's. There's always going to be little errors or mishaps. It's them very very few and far between this case. Oh I remember this bit, this is a it's a bridge here, so this is quite a tight ton if I remember right there. Not that bad. There's a bridge between here, is there not? Oh, I'm not going to get the wrong thing altogether. It's that long since I've been here. I thought there was a 
really tight like this, turn over a bridge, can't remember if it's traffic light controlled or not. Maybe I've got the wrong place. See, it's been that long since I've been on this road. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Oh, not that bad. No, it's not traffic lights, it's priority. Okay. I'm also amazed by the amount of people that you know, we have the priority. Seem to think because it's a bike, you know, you can squeeze through. You know, it's just to make a difference, I've still got priority. You should be giving way. Not uh, forcing me to squeeze through because we decided I, I don't deserve the priority or something like that. Bizarre. So I've never done these things myself as a car driver uh, before I ride, uh, rode a bike. Bizarre that some people. Driving yeah, standards are what they are. Kelso, Kelsey. Got in by the race course, avoid the centre of town. Sure. Sure. 